Hello and welcome to this noon renewal service from St. Matthew's Anglican Church in Etobicoke, Toronto, for Friday, July 17th. This is our time to come together as a community to pray for God's life-giving spirit to renew ourselves, our church, and our world. My name is Jeff Bonner. I'm the Family Ministry Associate at St. Matthew's. I'm also a life-professed Franciscan with the Third Order of the Society of St. Francis. So today will be our usual Franciscan Friday, drawing on imagery and prayers from that tradition. Remember that in these times, we're not alone. Our prayers do blend together as sweet-smelling incense in the presence of God, and we continue to be the Church through the Holy Spirit, whether we are together physically or not. Feel free to join in any of the prayers and singing as you wish. I will read both the leader and all parts. Please join in for the all as you're able, either silently or out loud. And I invite you to light a candle as a symbol of prayer to help you devote this time to God. As we come together in prayer, it's common in many spiritual traditions to take a moment at the start to pause and consider what it is you desire from God for today. Are you feeling tired or stressed? Then perhaps you desire peace above all else. Or are you burdened and tempted to despair? Then perhaps a special grace of faith is desired. Or maybe you just want to spend this time praising God for the goodness in your life. Whatever it is, take a moment now to express your desire to God for today. I invite you now to prayer and worship, both here and in all your church throughout the world. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I invite you to join me now in singing the classic hymn, Where Charity and Love Prevail. The lyrics will be on the screen if you want to sing along, or else you can just sit quietly and let the song speak to you in your heart. The psalm for today, which we will say together, is Psalm 6. We will say the psalm responsively by the full verse, so please feel free to join on the, on the even verses in bold. Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger. Do not punish me in your wrath. Have pity on me, Lord, for I am weak. Heal me, Lord, for my bones are racked. 
My spirit shakes with terror. How long, O Lord, how long? Turn, O Lord, and deliver me. Save me for your mercy's sake. For in death no one remembers you, and who will give you thanks in the grave? I grow weary because of my groaning. Every night I drench my bed and flood my couch with tears. My eyes are wasted with grief and worn away because of all my enemies. Depart from me, all evildoers, for the Lord has heard the sound of my weeping. The Lord has heard my supplication. The Lord accepts my prayer. All my enemies shall be confounded and quake with fear. They shall turn back and suddenly be put to shame. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. As we prepare now to hear the gospel, take a few moments to sit and prepare your heart to hear God's word. Ask the Holy Spirit to speak to you through the word. Pay attention when certain words, phrases, or images stick with you. And be open to finding yourself in the story. Today's reading is taken from the Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 12, verses 1 to 8. At that time, Jesus went through the grain fields on the Sabbath. His disciples were hungry, and they began to pluck heads of grain and to eat. When the Pharisees saw it, they said to him, Look, your disciples are doing what is not lawful to do on the Sabbath. He said to them, Have you not read what David did when he and his companions were hungry? He entered the house of God and ate the bread of the presence, which it was not lawful for him or his companions to eat, but only for the priests. Or have you not read in the law that on the Sabbath the priests in the temple break the Sabbath and yet are guiltless? I tell you, something greater than the temple is here. But if you had known what this means, I desire mercy and not sacrifice, you would not have condemned the guiltless, for the Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. This is the Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You may want to pause the video now and take a few moments to contemplate what we've heard in the Gospel today, either something that stuck out to you or some of these points to ponder that we have prepared. Do we all find ourselves, sometimes in the role of the Pharisees, focusing on rules and forgetting the people that are hurt by them? Does our own society sometimes value social order and rules keeping at the expense of deeper justice? Do we, however well-meaning, sometimes contribute to this? And what does it mean in our own lives to choose mercy over sacrifice? Take whatever time you need now to consider the reflection, the gospel passage that we heard, and move on when you are ready. We turn now to God with prayers of intercession and petition. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray to the Lord, saying, Lord, have mercy. Let us ask the Lord for a day of fulfillment and peace. Lord, have mercy. Let us ask the Lord to teach us to love others as he has loved us. Lord, have mercy. Let us ask the Lord for peace and justice in the world. Lord, have mercy. Let us ask the Lord to strengthen and relieve those who are in need. Lord, have mercy. Let us ask the Lord to renew the church through the power of his life-giving spirit. Lord, 
have mercy. Let us commend the world for which Christ prays to the mercy and protection of God. Lord, have mercy. Remembering all the saints, we commit ourselves, one another, and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. And we'll take a quiet moment now to add our own prayers and petitions to God, lifting the names of those you wish God's love and mercy for, either silently or out loud. We pray to God, Lord, have mercy. All this we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our risen Lord. Amen. I invite you now to say with me a prayer adapted from a letter from St. Clair of Assisi. What we hold, may we always hold. What we do, may we do and never abandon. But with swift pace, light step, unswerving feet, so that even our steps stir no dust, go forward securely, joyfully, and swiftly on the path of prudent happiness. Believing nothing, agreeing with nothing, which would dissuade us from this resolution, or which would place a stumbling block for us on the way, so that we may offer our vows to the Most High, in the pursuit of that perfection to which the Spirit of the Lord has called us. Amen. Collect for today is the BAS Collect for Fridays. Almighty God and Father, your beloved Son willingly endured the agony and shame of the cross for our redemption. Give us the courage to take up our cross and follow him in newness of life and hope. He lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. I invite you now to say with me a text commonly referred to as a fourfold Franciscan blessing. Uh, as an interesting little side note, this actually has its origins with a Benedictine nun, but it does reflect the Franciscan spirit, and so is often used in that context. May God bless us with this comfort at easy answers, half-truths, and superficial relationships, so that we may live deep within our hearts. May God bless us with anger at injustice, oppression, and exploitation of people, so that we may work for justice, freedom, and peace. May God bless us with tears to shed for those who suffer from pain, rejection, starvation, and war, so that we may reach out our hands to comfort them and turn their pain into joy. And may God bless us with enough foolishness to believe that we can make a difference in this world, so that we do what others claim cannot be done. Amen. And that concludes our time together in this noon renewal service. If you find these services helpful and you haven't already, please click subscribe on our YouTube channel. And if you'd like an email reminder about the services, contact our office at the email address there. Uh, and all the rest of our contact information and more information on our church is available at our website at www.stmats.ca. Until next time, may God bless you and keep you safe.